Welcome to the banks of the Red Cedar, where there's a school that's known to all. Its specialty is winning. Boy, do they hope the Spartans play good ball. East Lansing ready for this showdown in homestanding Michigan State. Maybe you need a little caffeine, or maybe the sheer energy of this matchup will keep you wide awake, as we know anything can happen when you kick off after dark. As we'll see a squad from the AAC, the Florida Atlantic Owls, taking on a team from the Big Ten, the Michigan State Spartans. 48 Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you, alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer, and guys, can't wait to get this one started. On the move from inside is five. And the returner will be brought down. So Fort Atlantic's offense is going to be backed up thanks to that lackluster return. And here comes this quarterback. This entire offense is built around him. He is the engine of the entire team. I mean, he's the leader. He's the alpha. Everybody looks towards him. He's been doing it all year long. Everybody believes in this young Hit the afterburners, kid. And he gets it to the 45-yard line, and that'll be a first down. And this receiver is so dangerous. There's so many different ways that he can hurt a defense. you got to throw it to him conventionally, but find creative ways to get him the football out in space and let him go to work. FAU racing to the line. Keeping it on the ground with the single back. A seven-yard pickup. It'll be second and three. Well, it's plays like that that'll help this offense stay in rhythm all game long. If you can have that kind of success on first down running the football, it just opens up your entire playbook moving forward. This crowd trying to make life miserable for this offense. They'll give it to the back. And they try to run inside, and there is nowhere to go. It's hard to run on a defense that comes off the ball like that and runs to the football like that. Good luck. No holes anymore. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. Quickly complete. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. And a really good job by the quarterback being very decisive. He saw his matchup, he went for it, he attacked it, got the positive gain. I would say he's going to find that guy a few more times today. And the Owls look to keep this drive humming. From the gun, leaves it on the inside with the back. He rumbles ahead for six inside the 30 to the 28-yard line. Yeah, this coaching staff, they're getting this offensive line lathered up and into a rhythm. Now they're letting him drive off the ball on first down on these running plays, and they're getting chunks of yardage. Got six on first down. Now a lot of options on second and four. The handoff to Johnson. Tackled, but he has a first down. You've got to be loving what you're seeing from your offense here on the opening drive of this game. They're in a really nice rhythm. They've got real good balance going on right now, and they've got the defense on their heels. It is getting loud as this crowd tries to help its defense. They're in the red zone, and they'll pass it. Unloads to the wideout. Snags it! And he won't be able to get in as the defense gets him down at the one. Yeah, and it was a nice comeback route. Most important part of a comeback route, dude, I got to sell you vertical. Like I'm running a go, and then I sit down, and I come back to the football catch. A nice route by the wide receiver. This offense trying to quiet the crowd on first and goal, and they are not cooperating. The throw. Reels it in in the end zone. Touchdown, no! You want to talk about a great way to start the game and set the tone early. It's so nice to have a quarterback just get himself into the game and get himself established. You make a couple throws, you lead your offense down the field, you score right off the bat. Could not have been a better start for that QB.
On to attempt the try. And the extra point is good, and it's 7-0. So a drive there of 85 yards. It was capped off by a one-yard touchdown pass. They're just about ready to kick it away. And he takes this from inside the five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. The Spartans' offense has its first opportunity of the day. As we take a look at our impact players for this one, what are you looking for, Jesse, for a guy to make an impact? Well, these are simply put the leaders of this football team, and generally games go how these guys play. If they make plays, then they've got a shot to win this one. No doubt, they got to show up. These are the team leaders. These guys have to play well if they're going to win the football. Man, when I can run the football like that on first down and create second and inches and stay way ahead of the sticks and, and be in a position now where I can throw the football or run, I will have a lot of success on the offensive side of the football. The gift to the back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Man, oh, man, am I upset at my offensive line to give up penetration that fast? Man, we blinked and missed it. Hey, he barely got the ball and just got destroyed immediately. What a great play. You got to think they'll try to muscle their way forward on third and short from the 29. Trying to pick it up on the ground. He is tackled, but it'll be a fresh set of downs. Well, they needed two yards to get that first down. That's exactly what they got. Great job of execution. No secret about it. Just got to be physical, get a hat on a hat, low man wins, all the cliches to get that third down and short. The Spartans getting set on first and ten. Leaves it with the running back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Listen, I know there are a lot of DBs out there that all they want to do is get interceptions and dance in the end zone. This dude likes to put his face in the fan, get close to the line of scrimmage, and tackle. And on the opening drive that he's out there, he gets a huge tackle for loss early. That is a statement play. They try to get it outside on the left. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Linebackers in today's football, obviously, guys have gotten smaller. they got to play in space more, cover fast guys out on the perimeter. But how about this linebacker coming downhill and making a physical tackle in the hole? Ball's at the 29. Defense can taste getting off the field. It's third and long. Looking downfield, it's Child. Throws to the tight end. It's complete. They'll get the first down. working on those critical down and distances. Third downs. And having that conversion this early in the game, that's got to feel good for this offense. And the Spartans are marching down the field. Wants to throw on first down. He's got an open man. Good execution. They moved the sticks, and they've got him at the 33. Really nice job on that throw, just giving his guy an opportunity to catch the ball. It kind of reminds me about Bill Burke, a guy I played against back in the Citrus Bowl when I was playing. He was throwing to Plaxico Burris, and he just kept putting the football in Plax's range, and we just couldn't stop the two of them. They went up and down the field on us all day long throwing it. If you just give your guy a chance like he did right there, I don't know if this defense can stop it. Receiver looks it in, it's complete. They stop him almost immediately. Short gain there, and still a little ground covered. Pick up the first. Right on target with that last pass. Now it's second and medium. They'll put the tight end in motion. On the ground, it's Carter. Tackle was made after the first down. I gotta say, watching this guy run has given me PTSD from when I played against Michigan State back in college, and they had a big old running back named TJ Duckett that was wearing our defense down. He got stronger and stronger as the game went on. This guy has a little bit of that in him, too. 
We've reached the end of the quarter. FAU has the lead. One period in the books, and let's take a look at the stats. They've switched ends of the field, and we're ready to get things started here in the second. Just outside the red zone, first and 10 from the 21. Quick pass on the fly motion. The defense wouldn't let him loose, and even though it's a completion, they lost yardage. After losing a couple of yards, it's now second and 12 as they try to keep this drive moving. Now they'll run it to the right here. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Man, what a spectacular play by that defensive end to come up with the tackle there. And you see those guys get off the football so fast. Most of these guys are 250 to 275 pounds, but they get off the ball fast, low. And the offensive linemen, they have no chance to stop those guys as quick and as fast as they are. Snagged in the middle. It's Belly. They get him stopped at the five-yard line, but it will be first and goal from there. I really like this offense staying aggressive. They were in field goal range, but nice job on third down. Forget that. Let's go get the first down. Let's throw the football. Nice read. Nice catch. Now set up with a first and goal situation. They'll dial up the run on first and goal. And he got nothing in the line of scrimmage is still the five-yard line. Awesome job up front by this defensive line. Being so good at the point of attack and eating blocks, eating some double teams that allows these linebackers to run free, unencumbered, and get to the football. Can the defense stop them again on second and goal? The run up the middle trying to steamroll his way in. Relentless puff running gets it down to the four. All right, so now you're in this third down situation close to the goal line, and it just feels, David, like they're going to have to throw the football in order to score a touchdown here. I like maybe trying to get the quarterback outside on the perimeter and give him a run pass option. I like that, too. Get the quarterback on the move. And here's the thing. If I get close and I get stopped, it's fourth down. Fourth down. Touchdown, Sparty! And they made it to the house when they found that six points waiting on them. What a nice start for this offense. The throw game getting working, getting the touchdown pass. This quarterback getting a little bit of confidence. This passing game getting in a rhythm. Nice start for this offense. He'll try to tack on one more. Right down the boulevard. They held the ball for 15 plays on that touchdown drive. And they capped the drive with a four-yard touchdown pass. And we're all square as he's set to kick it away. Out of the end zone. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. FAU has it back as the Owls offense will go back to work. Now they need to put something together to answer that last score. There's a lot of pressure, too, on this offense to have to execute at a high level. They've got to score points there, but they can't go too fast because their defense right now is tied. And I think that's the difficulty being a play caller. Like, I have to balance all of those things. My defense is a little bit tired. I can't put on the field. i got to be aggressive because this is a back-and-forth type game. So a lot to process and think about. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. From the gun, the ground game. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. And he's doing a better job up front right there. That run was doomed from the get-go. Nowhere to go. The back gets hit as soon as he gets the football. Hard to succeed as a running back when you get the ball and you get clocked. Now on third and ten, if they can move the chains here, maybe they can get this drive started. They're trying to slow that rush down with the draw. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. 
the back had nowhere to go. The defensive line ate up the blocks. How about the linebackers swarming in, coming in and making a great play on the ball game? FAU will send out the punt team and see if he can help the coverage team out with this one. That's usually prime return position, but he'll make the fair catch just outside the 40. The Spartans have it back on offense, hoping to play some good ball. The give to the back. And he'll pick up the first down after a tough run there. All right, well, look, I know the defense was feeling real good about their run D coming into this one and how they've been playing up to this point, but finally, David, the offense breaks through and they finally generate something positive on the ground. And I can't tell you how easy it is. When you're going to throw the ball consistently, and I know it, I'm going to pin my ears back and I'm going to get to the quarterback. It makes life really easy on the defensive line. But when you can have balance, now the defense doesn't know what's coming. They need more of this if they're going to be successful on offense. Solid fundamentals on that tackle from this freshman. And the running back didn't get much there. Nice job by the defense. You can tell they're focused in on this running back, on this run game, being physical, getting knockbacks, and limiting his carries. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. They'll run play action. Throws to the wideout. And this sophomore's going to learn. You can't force that type of pass. Very lucky to get it back. A third and long coming up here. Scanning the field. It's Childs. Fires to the wideout. Working on the right. Working their way closer and closer. A third down conversion, and they've got it at the 26. Well, there's a great example of the receiver working back to his quarterback on the curl route against man coverage. He drives back towards the football, makes the catch, and gets the first down. First down here with time for maybe one more play until the two-minute warning. On the run, it's Carter. Able to pick his way forward for a decent game before the defense gets him down. So after the first down run, here's second down. He's looking to throw. Got the quick pass. He'll get it all the way down to the eight-yard line, and the defense is feeling the heat. And there was no question in that scenario. That's where the quarterback was going. He knew he had his receiver in a matchup that he liked, running a route where he would find himself open. Nice job between those two. The Spartans are threatening on first and goal. From the gun, he'll try to throw. He snares it in the end zone. Touchdown, Michigan State! Man, I just love the execution by this offense. Late in the half, man, you want to take the lead. You want to get that momentum on your side, and they do it. They finish it with the passing game. I'll tell you what, keep that passing game up. You can keep this lead, keep the momentum, and keep putting up numbers. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point is true, and they're on top by seven. They marched 58 yards for the touchdown on that one. And they finished things off with an eight-yard toss for the score. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. And he'll just take a knee, and this drive will start at the 25. The FAU offense will return to the field. Last time, David, it was one, two, three, kick. The last drive, that three and out, sometimes that puts your defense in a bad spot. And you got to get a drive together here so you don't wear the defense out. I just think, David, too predictable that last drive. They got to do something here to get this defense on their heels. They came out hot on this drive. One play and already near midfield. Finds his man. It's Mobley. You know, sometimes when you're throwing against zone coverage, you need time for the routes to develop. So nice job by the quarterback there, being patient, allowing his receivers to work themselves over. 
They'll try to kick it into overdrive. Clock's running. Second down coming. Back to throw. It's Fancher. And he dropped it. Just didn't look the thing all the way in. Just got to finish the play through the wide receiver. You got to look that one in and complete it. It's a bad drop. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. They'll try to pick up the first through the air. Oh, he dropped the football. He had it right in the middle of the field and just ran before he finished the catch. It'll be fourth down. They're trying to get their receiver on a drag route and work him through all the bodies in traffic, but there's just too much happening. I don't think he saw the throw real well. It falls like he did. FAU will send out the punt team. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. And no shot at a return here as the punt goes out of bounds. Michigan State has the ball back, and here comes the offense. They've got some time to work with here, Jesse, and if they get a first down, they might really get aggressive. I'd be aggressive right out of the gate. I'd be throwing for a first down. If I get it, then it's pedal to the metal. I'm in that two-minute mode to try to score a touchdown or get a field goal. But I do think this is a situation where you also have to understand that I have the lead going into the half. I've got the momentum, so don't do anything stupid here. Couldn't make the play on first down. They'll try it again. Second and 10 from the 27. And he dropped it. It looked for all the world like that would be a catch, and he just got too excited. Dang, that, that's, that's unfortunate. I, I wish I could say I've never seen that before, but I've seen Reese run routes. You know, when we go to all these different stadiums and call these games, we go on the field and do a spin session before the game, that looked just like Reese Davis. Third down conversions, always a huge stat. And they've got a third and long from the 27. We got a timeout here late in the first half, and they'll try to get more points on the board before the break. Timeout, Florida Atlantic. And the Spartans will Number try to pin them back with the punt. He'll try to really get into this one. Here's the fair catch, and he'll make it close to the 20-yard line. Just over 20 seconds to play before halftime. They'll have it first and 10. They'll start this drive with a pass. Scrambling away. Going to try to get it himself. And he avoids the hit and slides after the short game. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. Gentlemen, what else is new? A spirited environment there in East Lansing. And it's been said football is a game of inches. And guess what? Based on the comparison between third down conversion rate today and the average yard per play, how can you argue that? I mean, the low-lying fruit is to look at some of the explosive plays we've seen in panic. But really, this game is going to come down to which team is more efficient when they have the ball and how they play when it matters most. And with that, let's head back to the place they've been playing football for more than 100 years, Spartan Stadium. FAU will try to kick it deep and break the seal on this second half. He'll start the return inside his five. Delivers the contact. Buys just enough space to cross the 25. Let's mark it at the 27-yard line. Keeping it on the ground to open the second half. Picks up the first down, still moving. And excellent vision to find running room there and make a really good pickup before the defense put a stop to it. This is going to be a big key for him, David, with the lead here in the second half, running the football, right? Staying on the field and bleeding the clock. Yeah, run the football. You're ahead. You can be a little bit more conservative. But again, this opens up the pass. This keeps everything in balance for this offense. And he'll find enough running room to get it just short of midfield at the 49. It's just so nice to know you can start off on first down with positive plays. Positive yards, hand the football off, set up a good second down. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. Now the play fake. Quickly to the tight end. And they pick up just a few on that completion. The big fellow, the tight end, the wide receiver in a tight end's body going up and making the catch.
Trying to move the sticks on third down. Back to throw, it's Childs. Get it out on the screen. Fakes his man out. They make the stop, but not before the screen has hit him for a first down and much more really good execution by this offense. Well, they pick up the first down there on the screen. I love the offensive line there, allowing the pass rush to get way up the field. They completely baited their guys, made them think that they got beaten, that they were going to get the sack, and then they sneak the running back screen right in behind them and pick up the first. Wants to throw on first down off the play fake. And they're not quite in rhythm there. It's incomplete. Well, they weren't able to come up with a completion on that play, but let's point out a positive here. How about the pass pro up front by this offensive line? They did an outstanding job giving their quarterback time to throw. After the incompletion, let's see if they go back to the air on second and ten from the 33. The give. He works his way down to the 30-yard line before he stopped a gain of three. Coming to the line of scrimmage at the 30. It would be a long field goal, but they'd love to pick up a few here on third and long. Catch in the middle. It's Brown. They make the stop, but this passing game does some damage, and they move the sticks with the first down. Defense is about feeling out the offense and what they like to do. What are they going to do in third and short, third and medium, third and long? So far, the offense is winning. Defense is going to need to make some adjustments. The Spartans will snap it on first and ten. Making sure they have good balance, keeping it on the ground. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. So you get stuffed on first down. You had an idea of what you wanted to do on second, but I'm guessing it's back to the drawing board now. Yeah, you, you got to figure out who you are and what you are. Uh, what's your next best play? Or what is the defense going to do? If they've been aggressive? Okay, well, if they've been aggressive, I'm going to throw that deep ball. If they've been sitting back, I might sneak a draw in here. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. Well, the QB decided to keep it on that one. And listen, if you had his athleticism, you'd want to keep it, too. Almost every time they run these types of option plays. But he's just going to have to do a good job of understanding when to hand it off, when to pitch it, and try to keep this defense on their heels and read his keys. He's got a lot of talent. Just got to make sure he's making the right decisions moving forward. Going for it all. And good coverage there to knock it away and deny the score. I tell you what, I don't know if the offense was expecting man coverage that time. Third and long in field goal range, you're expecting it to be zone. Instead, they lock them up man-to-man, -man, everybody on an island, and everybody won. They get the incompletion now setting them forth. Now on fourth down, they'll send out the field goal unit. It is perfect. And that will extend their lead even further. That makes the score for Michigan State. So the kickoff team is out there ready to boot it away after putting up a field goal. Let's see what the defense can do. And it'll come out to the 25. No attempt at a return. FAU has it back as the Owls offense will go back to work. They are trailing by 10 here, Jesse, but this is the type of team that seems comfortable in an offensive shootout. You got to hold serve at this point, right? You got to drive the field, put some more points up on the board. Yeah, they just scored. You can answer that now and keep this thing close. Dude. And I think you're used to that as offense. Like, football is so fast-paced now, and you score so quickly. It's not that big of a deal to get down 10. You keep being you, keep being aggressive. Dropping back, it's Fancher. And a little too much adrenaline on that throw never gave his receiver a chance. Man, how loud is it in this building? This is crazy. This, these fans are going absolutely nuts. And I used to love when the fans got involved, and I'm on 
defense because it messes with the snap count, it messes with the communication, and it can really rattle an offense. Off play action. Quarterback just flat missed it. Incomplete. Well, after struggling so much in the first half, you thought they would have made some adjustments here at halftime to see if they can open up this passing game. But early on in the second half, you're just not really able to get that done. Incompletion on third down in your own end, you're expecting them to punt. FAU will send out the punt team. Slips through the line, and they'll haul down the returner to start us on the next drive. Spartans have it back on offense, hoping to play some good ball. They'll ride the running back and leave it with him. And he's able to bounce off one tackle for a solid pickup. I know it's sexy to throw the football, but if you can pound it away and get these kind of gains, they will just add up, wear the defense down, get first downs, and ultimately get some points. Nine-yard pickup on first down, and now they can take a shot on second and short. Off the boot, looking for his man. Trying to get to it. Quickly out to the tight end. A quick tackle made, but he's got ready for the first down. When you run the football and then throw in the play action, it's such a tricky thing for the defense. Do I play run? Do I come up fast? It opens those holes right behind the linebackers and between the safeties to make the passing game just a little bit easier. Back to pass, it's Childs. Got his man downfield. And they got the defense on that one, and they get it to the 29-yard line. The Spartans very efficient with this passing game. You, you like that, Reese? You, you like that? I think so. This is an offense that, listen, when you've got a guy back there, they, they can be efficient. Make no mistake, they're going to run the football, but when you get that Kirk Cousins guy, you start to really like the offense. Well, that's disappointing for the offense because that's a play that you rep all week long in practice. You should be able to hit that one no problem. The QB receiver couldn't come up with a completion. And after the incompletion on first down, this offense looking at second down. Movement here from the tight end. Using his legs, it's Carter. Drives ahead for three to the 27-yard line. Ball spotted at the 27. They're facing a third and long to try to keep their hopes of a touchdown alive. He took a hit as he threw it and couldn't deliver the football. It's incomplete and fourth down's coming. And finally, the defense is able to get some pressure on this quarterback. They had been trying all game long different ways to affect him, weren't able to get there. But on that play, because of the pressure, it affected his accuracy, and that's why the ball falls incomplete. And here comes the field goal unit for the second time tonight. And it's right down the boulevard. And now the lead is even bigger. So they were able to put up a three spot on that last drive, and now the kickoff team out there as they prepare to put boot to leather. He'll bring it out. It's Mobley. Rolling the dice to bring it out of the end zone did not work out as he stopped at the 13. The FAU offense will return to the field. Boy, three and out last time, David. They'd like to be more productive this time around. Yeah, in the last drive, nothing really clicked. No rhythm. Got off the field really, really quickly. They need to put something together here. Yeah, David, bad execution on that last drive. So they got to take a collective breath and start playing like a unit on this one. Line getting set on second down. Give to the running back. Defense there to stop him after a gain of one to the 22. That 
That's the end of the quarter, and Michigan State has the lead. They're sitting in a strong position here with the lead. Let's take a look at our game summary. One quarter to go, and might we have the makings of a classic fourth quarter finish. On third and short, the power run here. The Owls will keep this drive going. Well, the good news is, is you got the first down running it there on second and short, but the bad news is you're down by quite a bit here in the fourth quarter, and two, three, four-yard gains aren't going to get it done. You've got to start chucking this thing vertically to get back in the game. FAU working with a fresh set of downs. Trying to make that rush think on the draw play here. Tackle is made at the 28 after a pickup of three. I never know if it's grammatically correct to say a team is being out physical. You hear it a lot in football, though. That's happening in this game. They are just not getting the push they need all game long up front to have any success when they decide to run it. Got three on first down at second and seven. After run, 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 now throw. Finds his tight end. They get him on the ground, but it's a first down. And this junior loves to show off that big arm. I think if you're the head coach at this point, you're telling your offense, it doesn't matter what's happened up to this point of the game. Obviously, things haven't gone our way, but we have a chance to execute in a two-minute situation and give ourselves a chance to win. Let's go do it one play at a time. The RPO, fire complete to the left. Makes the catch and he's brought down. This defense is showing the Spartan spirit and they are swarming. I mean, they're making them earn everything. Nothing given up free. Playing so good at all the levels of the defense. I, I'm a Michigan State fan. I'm pretty jacked up at this performance. Bunch formation trying to confuse the secondary. Looking downfield, it's Fancher. Quickly complete. He's really close to that first down marker, but they stop him just a bit short. I like the decision by the quarterback here. Just get the ball out of your hands, get it to your playmaker. A lot of times they'll dance and make even bigger plays than he did here, but it was still a positive game. Better by the ear plugged. Here comes the noise, backing this defense on third down. Quarterback on the keeper. He's got first down yardage across the 50. They'll mark it at the 49. And I just love having a decisive quarterback. Like, give him options, but he makes a decision, sticks his foot in the ground, says, I'm going to get the first down, and he gets it. It'll be a first down from the 49-yard line. He's looking to throw it. Got a man. It's Johnson. They stop him just a link or two short of the first, and man, what they can do on second down here. Nice patience by the quarterback here, working against zone coverage. He was allowing his receiver an opportunity to find that open space in the defense before pulling the trigger. And they'll come to the line with less than a yard to go. To the ground with the back. Brought to the ground, but not before getting enough for the first down. Man, that was a good run, but it was almost even better. Great job by the offense. Keep the running game going. You get big chunks like this. Not only was that a big chunk, it also looked like it could have gone for more. FAU racing to the line. Looking to move it through the air. They're trying to get to it. Hit hard just as he released it on first down and just couldn't get it to the receiver. Quarterbacks need time when they're in the pocket to complete throws. That QB had no shot after taking that. Couldn't make the play last time. Now it's second and ten from the 30. To the air, it's Fancher. They're working that left side. He knew exactly where he wanted to go with that one, and they've got enough for the first down. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. They've moved it into scoring territory, first and 10 from the 11. Out of the gun to give to the back. 
And he runs it all the way down to the three-yard line before he's finally knocked down. And a nice job by the running back, finding space, getting downhill, making the good run. Great job finishing with his pads. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. On second down, wants to throw it. Looking to the end zone. And he was trying to pay off this red zone opportunity, but it's incomplete. I love the coverage on defense. In the red zone, everyone's got their eyes on the quarterback, and they're flying to the football. And you saw that there on the incompletion. Boy, they'd love to pick up this conversion and go to work with a first and goal. On third and short, they'll try to throw for it. And it's caught! Touchdown, Owls! Late in the game, and the confidence is building. If only there's enough time to finish. Time is ticking, but man, you gave yourself a chance now. Now the defense, go out, do your job. We got the moment. If you give me the ball back, I'm gonna win. Let's go, defense! Lining up to add another. And it's up and good as they draw just a touch closer. They held the ball for 15 plays on that touchdown drive. And they finish it up with a three-yard scoring toss. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. On the run from inside his own five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Michigan State has the ball back, and here comes the offense. Off play action on first down. Throws for the tight end. Wide open downfield. They'll move the change after he gets it to the 43-yard line. I'll be honest, man. If I had the weapons these guys had offensively, I'd be staying aggressive, too. It's what got him to this point. It's why they have the lead here in the fourth quarter. Take some shots when those opportunities present themselves. And the Spartans want to pick up the tempo. We have arrived at the two-minute warning, a one-possession game as this offense tries to hold on. Offense lines up for a first and 10 from the 43. They'll keep it on the ground. The clock is on their side. Timeout called there by the defense, desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. That's a really good job by the defense, wrapping them up, getting them on the ground, take away that run game, make them one-dimensional, put them in passing situations. Really good job by the defense. On the move. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. Defense uses a timeout quickly, trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. How bold will they be on third down after that last run? Dropping back, it's Child. Unloads to the wideout. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. Quick timeout call by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. Man's quarterback is going to have to be deadly accurate here in this two-minute situation, right? And that's really what he's had to be all game long. He hasn't had a lot of yards because the coverage has just been so tight. He's had to be pinpoint perfect. It's been hard just to find completions, no doubt. That's going to be the same thing here in this two-minute drive. 